Alright guys, this tutorial is the continuation of the previous tutorial. So let's start. Before starting this tutorial, I want to run this program. Then we can see what to do. So let's run this. As you can see, when I press this button, nothing happens. So I need to uh, do, I need to handle an event when I click this next button. So that, let's move into the design part. And on this next button, just right click and add event handler action action perform click on it and as you can see here i'm going to change it as e and inside this i'm going to handle this event which means when i w w when they click the button when anyone clicks the button something gonna happen so that event is gonna declare inside this uh, method which is action perform method so let's start so what we need to do is that we need to get all these text fields as strings so obviously all the text fields are strings in the sense all the text fields contains strings variables only so i'm going to get all these things and the first text field named as name so i'm going to name it as the way i'm going to name the variable as name and i'm gonna get it copy just paste that text uh, first text field this is the object of that first text field which is we are going to insert our name and just dot get text so that we can get the name and the second text field is uh, scholar number so i'm just gonna put as put it as scholar and just copy this copy is because if i do any spell mistake then it's gonna be messed up so get text it's okay fine and the third string is department so i'm going to name it as dip and just copy this dot get text so we zoom up so far let's what we need to do after getting all these things here you can see now we have this window when we enter this when we enter the name and this caller number and any department after entering all these things we are going to click on this button so after clicking this it's going to take it take all these variable as strings obviously all these things are its strings so it's going to take all these things uh, inside this name variable and this caller number variable and the department variable so we can hold all these stuffs in these variables now what i want to do is that after getting all these variable i need to close this window so i need to use some i need to call a method which is known as dispose dispose is pretty much like you know it means causes the current jframe window to be destroyed in the sense when i call this dispose the current window get closed automatically it gets terminated automatically that's what happening with the help of this dispose method so now i need to call this dialog bo box after closing this uh, current window i need to call that dialog box so that after closing that window the dialog box is gonna pop up so this is what go uh, i'm going to do so let's create an object for this dialog class dialog i'm going to put it as okay dialog or whatever you can put it as whatever you want dialog and yeah and i need to pass all these variables so that i can place on the dialog window so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create a method so that i can uh, place all these variables inside that dialog box this is what i'm going to do so let's create a method if i create right here then um, i'll i'll show you what to do and uh, dia is the object so dot separator i'm going to put a name set values just create these names and pass these variables uh, sorry pass this variable as argument first variable is name and the second variable is scholar number and the third variable is department so as you can see we'll be getting an error when we hover over to this set value method it will ask 
it will it, it will pop up a message that create method set values string string in type dialog so when we press on it it gonna create automatic uh, it gonna create a method for us inside the dialog class so this is what happening right here now I what I want to do is that I need to place all these variables this name inside the name field and this scholar number inside the scholar number field and this department inside the department field that's what I'm going to do basically so let's copy this object and uh, this is for name text field and what I'm going to do just paste it got to set the text just call the method set text and we need to pass this variable that's it the same things the same thing we are going to do for this caller number dot set text for scholar number copy this thing and just put in to here and the third one is department text fields just copy dot sorry set text and just copy this one just paste it that's it and after setting all these values the error goes automatically so what I want to do is that I need to visualize that dialog box so that I can see so I need to set the visibility for this window set visible just make it as true otherwise we won't be able to see this window let's run the program after that we been, we need to do some modifications also let's run the program right now here as we can see I'm just gonna give my name and the my scholar number and department so when I click on it it's gonna close and the new window pops up so when I click back it should go to the next window so I need to set set an event for this back button so let's go to that dialog box click on to the design option so as you can see here is the back button so let's right click on it and add event handler action action perform so we are right here just change it as E and after coming here after clicking this back button we need to close this dialog dialog box so just call the dispose method so that we can call this current window and after closing this we need to call the window class so that the main window will pop up for us so let's call that window by creating a new object I'm going to call the object as uh, W new window and we need to set the visibility so W dot set visible make it as true this is what I need to do and after doing all these things there's an another button which is cancel so let's do any event for that cancel button also yeah, yeah there we go and just click on it right click uh, add event handler action action perform what we need to do when we click on the cancel button we just simply close it up that's all this pause yeah now is enough so far let's run the program when we run this as we can see we can enter any name scholar number and department and click on to the next button so that it's gonna pop up when you click on the back it's gonna close the dialog box and the main window will pop up so let's let's see when I click the cancel button whether it is close whether it gets close or not uh, let's put any name I'm going to put a and a scholar number any department mechanical engineering so now when I click on the cancel button it gets close yeah we are good to go and I want to mention one more thing when we run this program if any fields are blank then we should not let the window to proceed so that we need to give a restriction 
when we click on the next button so let's do that right now so come inside the button next button so that we need to we, we should not let the window to proceed when any fields are blank so if I'm going to copy this and paste dot equals null or scroll dot equals null or sorry dip dot equals null it needs to give an small pop-up message uh, whether it says you cannot proceed so let's do that j option pane dot show sorry show message dialog and inside this we need to call this class window dot this which means the object of this class and we need we are gonna pop up a message uh, you cannot proceed with blank fields and let's put error message and finally option pin dot error message and we need to return so that it goes it goes back let's run the program here when I click on it you cannot proceed with blank fields okay let's fill anything and now even I cannot if the three fields are full then I can move to the next window and back so this is what for this tutorial thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my next tutorials and yeah that's all and I'll see you in the next tutorial